So I've had a delivery. A lot quicker than I was actually expecting. I wasn't expecting this to have another couple of days. Um, a little bench top shop glass cabinet. So I'm going to get this opened. We'll have a look what's inside and we're going to give it a uh, real world test kind of which is something I'd have been interested in seeing you know with a lot of this equipment to buy it's difficult to, di difficult to gauge whether it's really going to do what you want so let's, uh, let's get on with that and see how it works <laughs> Okay, so we've got a bunch of spare screen protectors, which is sort of good. Instructions. Gun, it's an external filter that's going to go on the back. Okay, so we've got to put the uh, gun in. We'll hold it on here. Now I see that's a pick up. Do this. Yeah, the pickup end of the gun's got these little sort of a, a knot with holes in the edge, so that's going to go through the bottom of the cabinet. Um, Okay, well I'll get that put together, clear some space on the bench and then uh, let's see see how well it's going to work. Okay, so compressor's charge, got it on the bench, light works. Um, yeah, I'm going to get some media in and test part. So I've got a couple of scoops of uh, bus media in there and test part, a Suspension suspension part of my uh, Triumph Herald. 
I'm going to be using cotton gloves on my hands inside the rubber gloves. I used to work with glove boxes um, for chemistry quite a lot and this was one of our practices to help the rubber gloves last a bit longer. So I guess it applies here. So let's see how this goes. Not bad. So I just stopped then because I could, it smelled like there was dust in the air and so there is a little bit of escape I can see around the edges of the lid. This could be my choice of media. So I'm just going to put a dust mask on before I keep going. Uh, however that's actually, seems to work quite well. Um, problems were when I put it on the bench I noticed that this leg and the other leg at the back right had been uh, bent when it was chipped I mean they are they're quite flimsy they're just sheet steel so I can straighten them out but I will um, I will mention it to the vendor so I guess what I wanted to do with this was kind of what should someone like me who's never had one of these small home blast cabinets expect okay, so without an extraction system it is making mess not very much but enough that I wanted to be wearing a dust mask um, I think so I do can see I've got moisture in the airline so I'm going to need a dryer they're about 20 pounds so no, no big deal the media was just something I had had already for for anticipating blasting panels outside, so it's not not very reusable. But so and there's a lot of even this is a couple of minutes after I've stopped. There's still a lot of dust in the air in the cabinet as well. But it's done a decent job of stripping down this suspension piece. It was like, about two hundred pounds. My compressor's charged a couple of times while blasting this. It's I think it's three horsepower. I'll I'll put the details uh, on the screen when I finish this up. Uh, so this little Clark thing is actually this is going to do what I need. I think, and it's big enough that it's going to fit in my suspension turret. Uh, it's actually quite a decent sized box. So if you were thinking about one of these little Clark units or something similar, hopefully that was useful. So there's a couple of things that I hadn't, I had expected it to be a bit cleaner. Um, I guess a dust dust extraction would sort that. But otherwise, it's done it's done a pretty good job for what, about 200 pound. So hopefully that's been useful. Thanks for watching and we'll get back to classic cars in the next one.